Hello guys, welcome back to How to Hack. Today we are continuing our API pen testing. In previous session, we discussed about Befla vulnerability. Now we are going to deal with a business logical vulnerability. A business logical vulnerabilities are design and implementation flow in software application. These functions can be used by or exploited by an attacker and they can create unexpected behavior. As an example, imagine you are purchasing a product from an online shopping site and the product price is 100 bucks and you are going to buy 5 product so the sum total will be 500 bucks but before payment if an attacker is successfully changing the value into a native value which could which would be like minus 100 so 5 products that became minus 500 when you buy this product instead of spending money you will return money into your wallet which means you will get 500 bucks back into your account and you will get the product also this occurs because due to a business logical vulnerability so there is no transaction happen with the native value but due to an issue or due to a vulnerability the site is accepting negative values and while performing this transaction instead of providing money or in, instead of sending money to the seller from the seller side you will get money back to your account we are going to exploit this vulnerability in our crappy application to perform this vulnerability at first log into your crappy application with your user account and go for shopping here we have two products that is a seat and a wheel I'm going to use WebSuit to capture the request. Here I am shopping the seat. You can see here the communication is been captured at the WebSuit. Here the product ID is one and the quantity and the quantity is one. I'm forwarding this request and I'm collecting the response. Here you can see here and you can see the response here. It has an ID and also and a message saying that order was successful. So understand one thing, while purchasing the product we have seen a product ID. Now we are getting the order ID that is 11. So now I am going for the second product. You can see the product ID is 2 which means each product have 2 ID that is product 1 have product ID as 1 and product 2 have ID as 2. So now I am going to log into my testing account. This is the account which I have logged into the postman. Here you can see I have 100 bucks at my account. To avoid complexity, I am going to create a new workspace where I can perform API testing. And I am entering the post request here. Now we have to provide the token and the body. Now we have to make sure we enter the body content. We have already captured the first request. So we have to copy the syntax here and change the product ID and the quantity. We can see here there is no amount is displaying. Instead of that the quantity and the product ID is only displaying. We cannot change the product ID because that is a fixed one. But we can change the quantity. We here I am providing a native value that is minus 50, which makes the amount native. We can see here we got a credit of 590 bucks. At first it was only 100 bucks in my account. Let us see in the web application. Here we can see the balance is 590 bucks. Now we can try once again. Now I am making this as 500. And now we can see here we got an amount of 5000. 
So this is meant by business logical vulnerabilities. I hope you everyone understand the seriousness of a business logical vulnerability. For more cybersecurity videos, you can subscribe my channel.